One of Colorado's biggest animal rescues is one strike away from being shut down. We've been there as National Mill Dog Rescue brought in loads of dogs. We didn't know some of them should never have been there. The state found the group has been breaking rules meant to keep these animals and others healthy. CBS Force Karen Morfitt sat down with the employee who blew the whistle. And Karen, this is really the tip of the iceberg, huh? Well, Jim, skirting rules or health inspections like that is a red flag for any rescue that's coming into the state. They were doing that, but also the founder herself was in trouble for playing the role of veterinarian when she didn't have a license administering vaccines once those rescues were back in Colorado. We've seen it before, a van full of rescued puppies returning to Colorado from breeding mills hundreds of miles away. It's a scene that tugs at the heartstrings, and National Mill Dog Rescue has been tugging at the hearts of animal lovers for years. At some point in time, it started becoming about numbers, and it started becoming more about image. Jeannie Nelson was marketing director for the nonprofit for two years and fully believed in their mission to rescue, rehab, and rehome discarded breeding dogs until the mission didn't match the law. Some would call it interstate dog trafficking, and that is an accurate description. Uh, others whose supporters would say it's just paperwork. Ultimately, she took her concerns to the state. The allegations were that hundreds of dogs were coming into the state without certificates of veterinary inspections. Nick Fisher led that investigation, placing National Mill Dog Rescue on a year probation and fining them $15,000, the largest fine he can remember. We don't know where the dogs came from. We don't know what kind of diseases they have. If that dog would have got sick, you know, what's your recourse with the rescue? And a lot of times it's like the animals adopted as is. On top of skirting health inspections, Nelson says she grew concerned that the rescues they were making from breeders started to feel less about the animals and more about the business. If this was black and white, yes, this does keep the breeders in business. Now, we did try to get National Mill Rescue to sit down with us for an on-camera interview. They declined and instead provided a written statement. Now, they said, uh, saying once that, one, that they will not waver from their mission and that, two, they are proud of their near-flawless history with inspections. However, we did find with the state they've been cited for this before back in 2017 for the very same issue. The state says that's why the hefty fine. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado. First. Thank you, Karen.